Hey, yo, Professor X been running rampant. You know what stops Professor X? This war machine list. Let's go ahead and break it down. This here, right here, has been my bread and butter deck this season. These are the stats I've had with it so far. I've been running a couple different iterations, but this is the one I like the most. Um, it's got a bunch of different lines. You get some scar value. You're able to get into these Professor X lanes with War Machine, and you overall have whole sorts of flexible different win cons. Let's go ahead and break down each card individually. And as always, the deck code will be down in the description below. So starting off over here, we're playing Black Knight. Black Knight is, of course, the card we have on screen here. Whenever you discard a card, you get an Ebony Blade, which the Ebony Blade has the power of said card that got discarded. Cannot be destroyed or have its power reduced. It's an ongoing effect. Absolutely fantastic right now. Enchantress really isn't running around. Red Guardian hits it, but you have so many other little cards. It's almost impossible for them to hit your blade, which is awesome. Next, we have Blade Targeted Discard. Um, of course, you're going to see this in your typical Black Knight package. Um, it is super, super solid. Uh, you know, Targeted Discard is just so good. You don't always have to use it on turn. You know, if you have your Lady Sif, it always hits a 6-drop because that's the biggest card you have in here. And Blade allows you to target some of these other cards. A turn 2 play to be able to get a Blade on 4, snap into an Infinite. It is really, really awesome. Um, and, of course, we love the Ultimate Variant here. Next, we have Jeff. So, we have a 2-drop in this list. The only 2-drop actually in this list is Jeff to be able to get in some of these locations, play onto your Hope Summers to move off of Hope Summers. You're not entirely clogging. Get into your Professor X lanes, maybe if you don't have the War Machine. Um, it is a really solid card. Super, super flexible. We all love Jeff. We have Hope Summers over here. So, with Hope Summers, you're playing this with your War Machine. With your War Machine, it allows you to play your Infinite on turn 5. If you play War Machine on Hope Summers, or it allows you to get another 6-drop down on turn 5. You play also a um, two cards on this on turn four to be able to, you know, be able to play a six drop and another card or a five drop and a two drop. Um, so if you wanted to blink out your Jeff here or you're using this on turn five with War Machine and a one drop to be able to play a Ghost Rider and your Ebony Blade, which is awesome. It's just a really great card to allow you to ramp into your stuff. You don't have to use Hope Summers on three, but it's kind of if you don't have your top end or you have your Lady Sif, which you use to discard your top end cards or your high six drops um, in order to become an Ebony Blade. It's targeted discard. It works so well in this list. And like I was saying earlier, you can play this if you've played one card even onto Hope on uh, turn five. You can play Lady Sif and Ghost Rider turn six, which is really freaking spicy. Um, but of course, starting to discard. It's your only two discard cards are going to be your Lady Sif and your Blade. Um, so you just got to make sure you have that line for the Black Knight side of this. Or you have your Ghost Rider, like we were saying earlier. It brings back a card that got discarded. Really good with Ebony Blade. Really good with Black Knight. Pretty straightforward. Um... You're kind of trying to only discard maybe one or two cards so you get the Ghost Rider option. Or maybe you're trying to get a better line and maybe you're trying to discard two cards. Maybe you got Carmitage. Uh, but it brings back one card that's discarded. But what I was saying, your other line here is your War Machine. So, War Machine allows you to get a card into any location you want, but it is playable, okay? So you cannot play War Machine and then Ghost Rider a card into Professor X. You would have to play a card into Professor X. It does work if you wanted to play Ghost Rider into Kylin, or if you wanted to play it into any locations that may have been turned off, like you want to play it into a flooded lane. It does work in that situation, but for Professor X purposes, you can only play cards. You cannot do a, um, a Ghost Rider into a Professor X lane. Keep that in mind, okay? We have Blink over here. Blink also does not work in a Professor X lane, but Blink is also to allow you to get your top end. Maybe you Ghost rider um, one of your big cards, but you kind of want to have some extra scar value. You swap out Ghost Rider for another card, or you don't have your top end. You have your top end still in your deck. Uh, you can play a Blade or play a Black Knight onto turn six, and then you can Blink it out for a higher drop. Um, like Maybe you do get your, your high rolls there, or you can, if you have played um, onto Hope Summers, um, you can play Jeff onto your another lane and blink out the Jeff. Play Jeff wherever you want. Blink out that Jeff for another big card. Um, but like I said, you cannot blink out cards that are in a Professor X lane. It does not work that way because cards cannot be added or removed. And War Machine's text, it makes it playable. So that's why that interaction works the way it does. We have here, of course, we have our six drops coming up. We have Red Hulk. Red Hulk gets pretty big. Um, even if Red Hulk's only a 9-power card, that's still really solid for your Blade. Um, so, like, you're still discarding this, getting a 9-power card, and then if you bring back the Red Hulk, then you can get the extra buffs from the Red Hulk with your Ghost Rider, um, which is really solid, especially if they float a turn 2, it becomes a 13-power Blade, which is awesome. And the cool part about this, too, is your Blade over 10-power helps with your Scar. 
Scar gets reduced cost for every 10 powered card on the board. Um, so if you play your your Blade out on four, you play your Ghost Rider out on five, then you on six, um, you can play Scar um, and a four drop. Or if you play your Blade out on five, or uh, Blade out on four onto a Hope Summers, let's say, you can play a six drop out on five, and then you can play Scar and Ghost Rider on turn six. Um, we're also going to be trying to flex some Sasquatch in this list. Be on the lookout for some Black Knight Sasquatch. I think it's going to be really viable with each other um, because you only have to really play one card to get Sasquatch value. But, of course, that's going to be another video. But that's how you're using Scar in this list. I had Vision here at first, but I like the flex spot with Scar, especially it helps if you're trying to blink stuff out to get some better value from blink. Um, and then we have Magneto. Magneto is a 612. I like him more than Giganto, even though Giganto does have 14 power. With Magneto here, we actually get an ability with the card, which I really like. And a lot of people are playing Wong. A lot of people are playing threes and four drops. And being able to target those moved cards into like a certain location and kind of win off other lanes, it's been really, really solid. Um, so I really like Magneto in that situation. And it's another card that discounts Scar when it's discarded. Infinite in this list as well is really interesting. So Infinite is, of course, your main target to discard. You would love to get hit with your Lady Sif or hit with your Blade, but you also have the War Machine. With War Machine in this, this allows you to play your Infinite on turn 5 if you played War Machine onto a Hope Summers, or allows you to play on turn 6 with no restrictions because you can play a card anywhere. It doesn't matter with War Machine. Um, so it's something you can slam to Professor X like knowing... Um, that they're playing it on four right now with Ravona, or they're playing it on five because everyone and their mother is playing Ravona, and they're playing Infinite. Not Infinite, they're playing because everyone and their mother is playing Professor X on four or five. You play your War Machine out on five, and then your opponent's like, wait, what's about to happen here? And you can just literally slam any card you want in that Professor X lane. They get scared. Normally, it's going to be a retreat, especially they snap into Professor X. You snap back knowing you have War Machine, and it just feels good. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and break down some gameplay, hopping right into it from stream um, from last night. Um, if you guys aren't following me on Twitch, definitely follow me on Twitch too. That's where we play all of our games live, and that's what you guys are seeing here um, in the video as well. And if you guys enjoyed up to this point as well, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. But let's go ahead and jump into gameplay. Yeah, with Black Knight down, we would have gotten more value with the, the Blade interaction there. I agree. What do we what do we have as our oh yeah, because we drew we drew infinite, so we could have done both. That's true. Very, very true. Very, very true. Mysterio! Yo, this Mysterio looks freaking sick, bro. Yeah, no. That makes that makes sense. If I had kind of if I had moved the cards around and then done that, you're right. They play Mockingbird on this right here? Bro, we get Infinite now? They play Mockingbird middle. I can play this out and then play Scar out. And stuff. We'll see. I think I, I was thinking more big dumb idiots. So that's why I was playing for, for a Scar kind of play. But you're right. Jeff, really? I do this here, and then I'm going to play War Machine right. If I play War Machine, I can play Infinite. I mean, I get a Nihilist here right now. I can play Infinite, though, on this next turn, which is going to be nice. Yeah, that is true. You send me a deck similar? Sweet. Sounds good to me. Do I? Wait, hold on. Do we snap this into the War Machine? Yeah, so the Scar BK does get some freaking spice to it. Oh, snap. I think we snap here. 
Yeah, War Machine allows you to play anything over here. They might Lady Death, bro, imagine. No, I think it's a Annihilus or Mockingbird. That's Annihilus left. Boom, baby. All right. And with that in mind, we have 11 power over here. Potentially 14 power there. If I do this left... Should be good. Should be good. Yeah, so that's why we're playing this. Because of how much Professor X is everywhere. We're not even playing Scar. I know we should. But I think I think this is just better. You think Scar left? I mean, Scar left here. If this is the right Mysterio... If this is the right Mysterio, we lose left. With a Scar left. Um... So I think we're gonna play Infinite. If they play any Cannonball stuff, we still got this here. I think I think we got this. If they play, we lose right here. If this will, or if this is a Nihilus and well, no, actually, if this is a Nihilus and um, Titania, we still win. I think this is still our, our best line. Is just playing Infinite into the Professor X lane. Because it's the safest. We guarantee this lane. Yeah. Victory. They would have to... If they Mockingbird and Annie, they win here, right? If this is the right Mysterio, they win. Because if not, this is 22 power potentially left. Um, and that's why I love playing War Machine on 5-2. Yeah, Mockingbird is free, right? Wait, one, so one, two, three. Yeah, Mockingbird would have been free. So they can play Mockingbird, Titania, and War and um Annihilus and beat me. And that's what they would have stayed for. And I'm that that's like perfectly we lose to that. I totally get it. I got greedy. I got greedy, guys. Um a four four? What do we has, Mama Sauce? What do we has? We get some good value. That's for sure. Um, we're going to go boop, boop. And then we're going to be able to play some stuff here, which is going to be cool. I do this. Black Whip. Ouch. Ouch. Let's go Timberwolves. No. Let's not go Timberwolves. This is really, this really sucks. Mm. Ravona is so good. Ravona is so freaking good. Korg? Yeah, that's extremely unlucky. I'm not playing the Ebony Blade. No, thank you. No, thank you. We're going to do this, though. We are going to do... Actually, hold up. Do I need 8 power? Opponent snapped. They're playing Professor X, right? What do I lose to here? This beats Jeff. Uh, 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 uh. 
Can they, what four drop can they play middle? They play Darkhawk here? Actually, hold on. Ghost Rider's not, con not confirmed. That's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. If I do that and that's safer. That is safer. Cool. Victory. <laughs> I hope so. Really, really hope so. It feel it feel I mean, I don't know though. Our big is hurt. Like lively is so good with an and with a neck sprain too, bro? A neck sprain? Crazy. Crazy. Opponent snapped. I don't actually need draws at the moment. So Sif value will be nice and also playing Sif left's good. What do we got? Black Knight Blade hitting Blink, really. Oh yeah, the Celtics look great. Celtics look freaking great. This is going to be huge. That's going to be huge. Depending on what I even get here is going to be awesome. You hit blink. I might snap back, honestly. Magneto. And we have War Machine in hand. So I could just play Infinite on this next turn. Or not next turn, the one after. Die clocked in, luckily it wasn't a concussion. Oh, he really? Yeah, I was about to say, like, big, big freaking blade, really. This turns into either Magneto or Scar. Snap. I'm gonna do this. Magneto does hurt us. But this into Infinite feels pretty good. Is it ever blink? Probably not blink to get Scar Magneto. No, I think it's just that, yeah. I'm just thinking of the potential Magneto sweep here. Wherever Magneto goes, why not War Machine Might? Right, because I don't want to be like alluded to this power when Magneto comes like this. Blink, blinked out the blade. Hella. Um. Now if they play Hella. Magneto coming down here with Hella is 18 extra power. They have to get, like, the perfect high roll here with Hella and stuff. We get this down. We're at... They had 18. We had another 20. I think we moved Jeff Wright. We're really good. I don't think Hella comes to the right over here. I think we're good. If they Hella left and, they, and Magneto lands here, we win. They hella and Magneto lands here, we lose. It's a 50 50 8 cuber here. 50 50 8 cuber. If they Jubilee Hello, we also win. Or if they Jubilee and it comes into gi gi ugh, to Giganto. We're playing all of our power here. This is really good. The War Machine's really solid for us as well. Yeah. They don't like what we're about Victory. to drop. Victory. That's why I'm glad we snapped. Blink, actually, when I don't hit my combo, drawing out the big cards, like, I like that interaction more. 
And feeling locked behind having to have Zabu on two cost, I feel like I can just play a lot more around it opposed to having the Zabu. Even though, like, to be fair, like you guys are saying, Zabu really does help a lot of this comboing, being able to play a Sif into a Ghost Rider if you haven't discarded anything, being able to play a Blade and a Ghost Rider at the same turn. Like, there's 100% merit to it. Like, 100, 100% to it. Um, but I like not actually having Zabu in the list and being able just to maximize my top end and get way more blink value holistically. Because there is some times where I'm just dumb and I play my freaking... Um, I play my Ghost Rider out and I haven't discarded anything. And I just go, blink! And then blink, blink happens. But, yeah. Yeah, free the cat. Free the cat. At a Stagron? Stagron! So, look at this. They're about to be doing me some dirty stuff here, right? I do this... And then I'm going to go ahead and do a War Machine on next turn into this Ravona lane. If this is Professor X, this might just be freaking Cerebro. Might just be Cerebro, in all seriousness. If it is Professor X, though. Oh, we go, we go, we go Liddy. We go freaking Liddy. Blade Wright's hook can't tie. Right. <laughs> yeah, that is, that's fair. Very, very fair there. What we got? Professor X. Snap. Opponent snapped. It's gonna be a real shame when I can just play this. What be Cosmo beats me, right? Cosmo's what beats me, and then this just goes middle. They snap me on the Professor X. I don't know why they snap prior. War Machine left. We lose to what did we die to? We died to Cosmo? Cosmo kills us. Are they playing Cosmo in this list though? Probably not. Probably like Sentry and Nihilist kind of gaming. White Tiger? All systems go. Is it ever Blade into Blink instead? Or is it just over here? What's up, King Harris? For Jane Foster without Beta Ray. You think it's just Infinite Middle? If they cannonball me here... Or is it Blink into Blade here? You just play infinite middle. Are ye worthy? Hello, so happy. Victory. Okay. <laughs> that is true. Fair done. We beat. If they cannonball me here, move Jeff right. Like you're saying. Yeah, that would have been 20 power here. And this doesn't isn't enough there. Which is why if we did blink. Blade here, we could have potentially gotten Red Hulk back, or we would have gotten Scar Magneto. Yeah, because if they cannonball me here, if I do the Blink Blade, um, this moves over. Cannonball is yeah. I think we we had it like. We had the alternate line if they had cannonball, but it is what it is. We're, this is all in hindsight. All in hindsight. Um, let's take eight. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you guys stuck around to the end, thank you so much. Please like, comment who your favorite six cost card is down below. Um, and please subscribe if you're new. I appreciate you guys. Until the next one, talk around.